she been what's been going on and i'm here to tell y'all where exactly i have been um so clearly i'm having a baby so for the last six months i have disappeared into hiding and that was by choice because i have been hiding my pregnancy at this point i would have just announced my pregnancy so you guys can go over to my instagram and yeah go look at my maternity pictures and yeah comment if you want like or whatnot um so basically i'm going to give y'all the backstory on how i found out i was pregnant when i found out and a little bit about how my pregnancy has been also if you've already made it this far into the video go ahead and like comment and subscribe and yeah follow for more content because this is going to be a whole new journey i do not have any kids this is my only child will be my only child unless i get married um so yeah i'm not gonna tell you guys what the gender is just yet i'm gonna save that for a different video but yeah so let's get into it <sighs> okay so i'm six and a half months pregnant now and i found out i was pregnant march 6th when i found out i was pregnant y'all i had covid and strep throat so i found out a day before I was supposed to get off of quarantine and my period was late but I was like you know it's probably just because I'm fighting COVID and strep throat this is how my body is responding to this and then I was also like I had to get a shot of penicillin um in my butt area because I had strep throat as well so that's the medicine that cures that so I'm like it's just my body responding to how I'm like dealing with being sick but one thing that threw me off y'all besides my period being late because again i thought it was just because i was sick but i was having nosebleeds and from the times that i've counted on my hand in my life i've only had two nosebleeds and it was bleeding bad y'all that's the whole reason i went to the hospital because i'm like i'm having really bad nosebleeds back to back and it's severe so something's going on and i didn't want it to be nothing like super major because my nose is bleeding you know so i was like yeah I couldn't even drive myself to the hospital the day that I went. My dad had to take me. So even when I went to the doctor that day and they diagnosed me with COVID and strep throat, the lady was like, when was your last period, you know, as a woman? And I told her, she's like, Does, don't that make you late? And I was two days late at the time. So I'm like, yeah, but she didn't like test me or anything like that. So I'm not thinking nothing of it, right? Cool. So fast forward when i'm about to get off of quarantine i was supposed to get off on a monday i found out i was pregnant the sunday before that monday so i was craving chinese food so i ordered chinese food and i went to go pick it up i did wear a mask even though i was about to be on quarantine but yeah so on my way back home i stopped by cvs at 24 hours by my house so i was like oh i'm just gonna get one because it's gonna come back negative like i've had a pregnancy scare before so i was like you know it's gonna come back negative i'm not about to spend all this money on a pregnancy test like that comes with two and it's gonna come back negative you know i don't need the other one y'all i got home and i already had to pee so bad so i immediately went to the bathroom and peed on it because i had to pee already so i was like let me just get that out of the way okay sorry y'all my camera had ran out of storage anyways when i tell y'all on the box it says give it two minutes for the results to come back y'all before I could even put the cap on, and I lied to you not, it was less than 30 seconds positive. I'm like, I've never seen a positive pregnancy test a day in my life. Like, not not for me. So I'm like, is this really happening right now? Y'all, my first reaction was to cry. Like, I'm already a crybaby sometimes because my zodiac sign, I'm a cancer, and I am very in tune with my emotions, so sometimes I can be a little bit more sensitive than others. But my initial thought was, I was like, what in the heck is going on? So I get myself together a little bit, and I had called my child's father, and I'm like on the phone crying. I'm like crying. First, I was like, you know, what are you doing, blah, blah, blah. 
and I was like, I need to tell you something. And I just like break down crying. I showed her pregnancy test, blah, blah, blah. Skip fast forward, fast in. But y'all, I was so like, what the heck? How did I find out? And now to think about it, like I was sleeping a lot, but I again thought it was because I was sick. My period was a week late. And yeah, so I was like, oh my God, I cannot. I was like, I cannot believe that I'm freaking pregnant right now. Like, y'all, I was outside and you know, like I'm a bottle girl too. So I was just like thinking of everything that was going on right now. And y'all, I found out March 6th, I was supposed to go to Miami for spring break the following week on like March 10th, I think, or like that weekend or something, right? Airbnb was already paid for, plane ticket was already paid for, so at this point i was just thinking about like okay i need to book my hair appointments my nail appointments blah blah, blah. so pre being pregnant was not like something that i was thinking about but y'all i did not go to miami and i told my mom the next day me and my mom are like really close and i'm her only girl so yeah she is and was excited um for me to be pregnant and you know i'm 24 years old now i just had a birthday about two weeks ago but everybody was like, oh, you're having your kid at a good age, you know, and you have like your own car, your own house, X, Y, and Z. But in my mind, I'm like, I didn't want to have a kid until I'm like 29, 28, you know, somewhere around there. And I really didn't even want to have like a child until I was like married. But God had other plans and I'm extremely blessed. I love my baby already so much and i'm just so ready to take on you know being a mommy and just learning about parenting and this new journey because it's new to me um it's very special time in my life it's just like when you get married it's like one of those rare things that happens in life and i'm very blessed to be able to have a child and to be having a healthy pregnancy so I just wanted to update y'all and let y'all know where I have been for the past six and a half months. Um, you guys still won't get this video um, probably for another week. Um, I do have a lot of content that I've been editing and working on, vlogs and doctor's appointments. You guys can comment down in the comment section and let me know what video videos you guys want to see of me now. Um, but yeah, so this is going to be the role of a new journey and a new chapter of me being a mommy and learning how to be a parent so yeah i'm super excited y'all we have two baby showers coming up next month so that is going to be a lot of content in itself um yeah but i'm a mommy and i guess it's only right that i actually show you guys the full bump so let me readjust the camera and i'm gonna come back so i know you guys can probably barely see my face but it's not about my face it's about my belly so here is baby um yeah and i will do another video of telling you guys like what my pregnancy symptoms have been and xyz if you guys want that comment down in the comment section down below but this is baby it is one baby in here guys one baby and i am six and a half months and yeah this is baby <laughs> I'm a mommy. It's all good. It's all good. Most of the things I don't want to say. I won't be around while you chase.